Okay, we are back with what I think is going to be the finale of Your Turn to Die. So... So, sadly... The dolls have been dropping like flies right now. But... Anzu! Yeah, just only Mai and Renmaru are left of them. Because of me. No, this isn't your fault. Ah, too bad. You hit Anzu. Sheesh. How's it feel, Miss Sarah? Because of your wish, this time Anzu's an unrecognizable mess. Ugh. I'm sorry, Anzu. Sorry. Am I looking for forgiveness? I've just drawn a clear line. I sacrificed one of the dummies to save Jin. I discarded a doll so a human could live. I can't cover that up anymore. It doesn't matter. However brutal it is, I'll do anything. You're going down. With our next choice, we'll deal the final blow. Yeah, that's all we can do. We'll clear the dummy's regrets right here. We'll save Jin. Go to hell, Midori. We'll make you apologize to everyone. I don't want to lose to this guy, Meow. Oh, really? I do hope you can. We'll do it. Alright. <clears throat> Let's begin our final discussion. Now, there's just one thing to wonder about. Whether or not we target the remaining number 9 coffin. What do you mean, Meow? There's clearly no other option, Meow. I mean, there's only two glowing coffins left, Woof, and one has a hint, Meow. If I'm in the blue number six coffin, you already have the answer, Meow. If we look at it plainly, Midori must be in the number eight coffin. But why is Midori so full of confidence? It's not like he's... It's like he's not expecting to lose. That's true. Don't you have to wonder about why Midori chose Anzu's coffin? Is there some smart way of using our hint? Listen, we can't accept the loss. We got the dummies regrets on our backs. Hey, hey, shouldn't we be thinking about whose side Meister's on, Meow? I don't think we should trust him, Woof. He's just acting impartial, but really he's on Seaweed Head's side, Woof. And Shorty, too. I don't want to suspect her, but maybe she was with the bad guys, Meow. Hmm. Jin. I mean, it has to be, right? Shorty must have worked with Seaweed Head, or she wouldn't have blended in as a fake, Meow. Hmm. He has a point. Unless... Unless he deceived her, too. If both Meister and Hinako are on Midori's side... There may be traces of them preparing things for this banquet. Hmm. 
The dummies were created to kill us, but that don't matter none. Kuramata, Hinako, Hayasaka, Anzu, they were all our allies in the end. We gotta show them the way to that. Kataro. Why is Midori so full of confidence? It's like he's not expecting to lose. Midori was shaken when you brought up the consent form, right, Sarah? Yet now he's calm. That must be because he isn't going to die if we pick the number 8 coffin. He's lying about not fearing death, he just has a guarantee he won't lose. A guarantee he won't lose. If you look at it plainly, Midori really must be in the number 8 coffin. By all means, we should have the answer. But something does seem strange. If Midori planned ahead to this extent, we stand no chance. Just how deeply did he consider? Hana, calm down. Has our opponent made any kind of mistake? Like a careless statement, for instance? A careless statement. I wanted to bring them all back myself. Muscle Gorilla, don't be fooled, meow. Well, what's that, Jin? You say they they were all allies, but Shorty might have been an enemy, meow. Guess so, but even Hinako was killed. I want to believe in her too, but... Will we find the answer that way, Woof? Can we really win, meow? Ugh. Sorry, let me think this over. It's true, Hinako might have been our enemy. But if that's the case, why'd Hinako get killed? I just ain't sure. What was Hinako trying to say in her last moments? I'm pathetic not being able to remember. Hmm. Okay, there we go. You're gonna help me remember again, huh? Yes, look into this lantern. Huh? Oh, I'm starting to remember now. This is shaking. My man. This. This. Before she died. Maybe she was going to say this can't be happening? I know it's a waste to use a precious hint, but... Something smells fishy. We gotta use the hint somewhere. Feels like whatever coffin we pick will lose. What did you just say? Huh? Uh, I said this ki- Huh. This might sound strange, but... Maybe Hinako didn't mean to say this can't be happening. 
but rather this coffin. Hmm? Coffin? Yes, Hinako was working with Midori. Maybe her coffin wasn't planned to be selected. But then it was. She was betrayed. What does this mean? Huh. The reason she thought she wouldn't be selected. Do you know it, Sarah? Because... It was... It was marked somehow with something special that only Midori could see. Midori's in a coffin. How would he see the marking? Told the number of her coffin? But she would have noticed when the hint was used. Wouldn't she get really angry? Hmm. Because it was a non glowing coffin, that would take her out of the selection from the start. But Hinako's coffin was glowing. Huh. Then that idea's wrong. Is it wrong? Big Sis Sarah? Hinako had hot cocoa, right? Yeah, and she splashed it on my coffin. What if the reason Hinako had that hot cocoa was to pour it on her own coffin? Uh, yeah? Then she splashed mine as a distraction. No wonder, I was thinking, how many cups of cocoa does she need? Meow, that's Shady Wolf. You should have mentioned that earlier, Meow. My bad. Meister, tell me something. What is it? While this device was being set up, was it possible to trade coffins? Well, now, I suppose you could... Say what?! I locked them when starting, yes? Until then, everyone could do as they wished. Then maybe... The incident happened just before the bank would begin. Hinako switched with Midori. while all the coffins were buried underground. Huh? At that time, Midori came out of his new coffin and called Hinako to trade coffins with her. Hey, what? That's gotta be cheating! But why did Hinako make the trade? I'm sure she didn't necessarily know everything about how it worked. And she didn't consider that she would actually be betrayed. Well, how about it, Midori? Hmm? Huh? This trade thing wasn't in your plan, right? At first, you wanted to simply enjoy the game. But you started to fear you die. So you called Hinako and swapped with her. So what? <laughs> You're acting all proud like you've won. But what does knowing that do for you? Huh? You, you swap with Hinako, so you must be in a, in a non-glowing coffin. <laughs> There's three of those, right? So 
So that's so that's what's up. Just take a look. You have to pick me from among the three non-glowing coffins. And you have no more clues. That can't be. Oh yes, you could use your last hint. But whatever you pick, it'll just be red. What? Go ahead and discuss it all you like. That's exactly what I intend to do. The three non-glowing coffins. <clears throat> Guys, don't just be silent. Well, from what we worked out, Midori is in one of the three non-glowing coffins. Midori's in the coffin that Hinako was originally in, right? Keji's coffin is also one of the unglowing coffins, isn't it? I think we have to use our hint now. We can be sure of that, can't we? But to think we've come this far not knowing whether Keji's in there. We worked out Midori's in one of the three non-glowing coffins. We just gotta choose. One in three. But how can we tell them apart anymore? Midori's in the coffin that Hinako was originally in, right? I think there's something, like it's a little cocoa colored. I've been observing them the whole time, and no. Oh, what should we do? I think we have to use our hint, meow. Seaweed head's a liar, meow. It's not guaranteed it'll be red, meow. That's true. There's Keji's coffin. I don't want to think about it, but if Keji is really in there... After being executed, it'll show blue. But Midori isn't considering that at all. Why is that? It's no use. I can't see any options other than using our hint. And if that's only going to come up red like Midori says, it'll be one in three. And since Jin's coffin's already known, if we miss, Jin's life really is forfeit this time. You just have to try, Meow. Jin. I'm ready. Woof. I'll be okay. Whatever the result is. I want us to stand against this together, Meow. Jin. Alright. Got it. I'm prepared to. The final hint. I'll use the hint on a non-glowing coffin. Four is the number of death, so let's... Let's go with it. This is the last hint. If we don't learn something, there's nothing more we can do. Still... I summon my resolve and press the lamp. Blue. It lit up blue. Huh? It really came up blue, meow. 
Blue means human. Which means it ain't Midori, right? It's Mr. Policeman's coffin. No way, Meow. So, Mr. Policeman really was executed then, Woof. Kedgy. That's wrong. Kedgy escaped. If he escaped, what does this blue mean? What's inside? I don't know. I don't know, but... Keiji has done something for us. Two coffins left, Midori. <laughs> Sarah. Now it's one and two. I don't think there's any more we can figure out from discussion. We just have to choose one. I believe we'll win. This time, I will defeat you, Midori. Five or seven, then. All right. I've decided. person inside there is either Midori or Renmaru. If I miss, Jin and Renmaru will both die. My hands tremble. Even knowing I have no choice but to press it. Please, give me courage. Good luck, big sis Sarah. Do it, Sarah. I'm sure you can win. I... Selected the coffin. Oh, well, is it the right one? Oh, it was Renmaru. Seriously? Please, somebody save Jin and Sarah! Oh, come on. No. It can't be this. Too bad you hit Renmaru. all over. I couldn't protect Renmaru. Or Jin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't save anyone. You can't give up, Sarah. Hmm? Hey. What's up? Keji? Out of nowhere? A voice. No, it's just an illusion. Besides, even if you tell me not to give up, it's clear which coffin Jin is in. It ain't like you think, Sarah. 
Hmm? Have to pick. Midori? Damn it! What's going on? The number four coffin should show red, right? Didn't Keji escape? He must have put that in there instead. <laughs> Seems it was effective. Our final trick. Trick. Guitar, what did you do? <laughs> when you decide that was Keji's coffin, then... Are you saying it's Jin's coffin? No, wait, during the final coffin check, did you do something with Jin's coffin? That's inconceivable! Then go ahead and pick the one you believe in. What's going on? There's so much I don't understand. Even still, Midori's backed into a corner. <laughs> I'll give you the explanation later. This is the final trap me, Mai, and Keji put together. If you let him think calmly, Midori might notice what's up, too. You gotta thoroughly corner him. Refute his ideas and break his brain. I have to pick the statements that seem most refutable. Oh, we got another one of these. I'll make him unable to think this over properly. Why was that coffin blue? There's no way Keji's inside. No way Keji's inside. Why are you able to say that? We saw the cremation system being activated. Shouldn't it be most natural for you to think that Keji's inside? Ugh. Foolish. Must have been a deception. Keji escaped from the coffin. The control system worked and opened the coffins. The victim video's plane was proof of that. The dying moments of the six dummies. Hinako's video showed the death of the real Hinako, someone separate from the dummy Hinako. Be quiet, what do these details matter now? What's important is the con coffin control system functioned properly. Because the victim videos were set to play as a reward for activating it. What about that as a reward? At any rate, the real question is Keji's actions afterward. Keji must have learned how the banquet works. I'll bet he heard it from Maple. Or maybe Shin, that traitor. The Shin AI was only in the in the control room on floor 5. There's no way Keji could have talked to him while he was stuck on floor 4. Then he heard from Maple. That settles it. Having learned about the banquet, Keji began his scheme to ensnare me. I'm sure he put something else in the coffin. He could use my doll in place of reports. The coffins identify contents by the type of collar. The contents are identified by the type of collar. That's the first I'm hearing of this. Right, because it's the first I'm telling you. After all, both humans and dolls would be reduced to cinders by the cremation system, right? So only things that can withstand the heat would remain in the coffin. Namely, the collar. What? And Keji must have thought like so!
my caller, which was in the control room. He used your caller, Midori? That's impossible. Your caller would show the same thing as the dummies. Red. But what actually came up was blue. How do you intend to explain that contradiction? Why, you... You're being so annoying right now! I don't know, so I'm thinking about it! And you're getting in the way! Vittori. There's only one answer that makes sense. What? It's simple. Your reasoning has, has all been way off the mark. I did it. I refuted them all. From the beginning, Midori had been thinking the coffin didn't contain Keiji. But rather, his collar from the control room. So he was convinced it would be red. You're saying it's all wrong? Then who's in there? Is it Keji? It definitely can't be Jin. Jin, that above all would be impossible. Yes, I'm certain. Hmm. You gonna freak out? You have no allies to support you when you're faced with a dilemma. Because you killed them all yourself, Midori. Now choose. Decide your fate, Midori. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. All right, I'll choose. Meister, the coffin I'm picking is... See this one. Now, will it be the right one? Or the. Oh no. It's this Sarah. I'm. I'm. I'm scared. Oh no, don't let it. No. Uh. Were we wrong after all? Uh. <laughs> 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 What's so funny, Meow? Oh. I hate you, wolf! Jin! Huh? Jin? Who? Oh. Jin. Thank goodness, Jin. What about Mr. Policeman, Meow? Hmm? The blue coffin isn't mine. That's Mr. Policeman's coffin, right? Was he inside, Meow? Kedgie's... In there? I see. If he didn't use Midori's collar, I can only imagine he was inside. But didn't he escape? Don't tell me. After he escaped, he went back in? While I was passed out? Silent the whole time. So as to deceive Midori. Oh. Is that what happened?
Oh, this. This again from the very beginning. You did good, Sarah. Keji? Long time no see, everybody. Keji? Wait, is he wait, is he alive or what? What the fuck? You survived? Sorry about that. Took some time getting here. Are you the real deal? Might be a ghost. Wanna check? Keji! Yep, I'm real. It's a long story, but basically, Renmaru locked me in the charging room. Why, Woof? You should have told us sooner, Meow. Sorry, sorry. I worry you, huh? You did too, you did good too, Jin. Yeah. Sheesh, you could have come sooner. I've been listening to things unfold over the transceiver. But me being here wouldn't have helped anything. We can talk later. Do what you need to do, Sarah. Defeat Midori. A rule violation. I finally realized just now. You used it! Mishima's collar! Huh? Mishima? That's the first he's been brought up in a while. Mishima's head, which mildly failed to collect. His collar was still on his severed head! We still haven't found that collar. So you're the one who had it, Keji! And you put it in that coffin! Oh, 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 oh my god! Nice, nice detective work. And? That's foul play! Using a missing collar from another floor isn't a valid part of the game. It's against the rules. <laughs> Mishima's collar is a rule violation. Clear foul play. You damn. It's time to give up. No, Midori's right. Ma? Mishima's collar is an illegal item that was never meant to be used. To dodge execution with it. Now that's unfair. Rule breakers will be executed. Oh no. no. Oh. Oh fuck you. No. Then, the rule breaker who put the collar in the coffin is Keji. What nonsense is that? This can't be. Surely. Even after he survived and we reunited. He'll be executed for breaking the rules? We remain undaunted. So you were prepared for this? <laughs> How disappointing. Even though there's a way you could be saved. Huh? What? I'm not interested in a finished game, you see. Once I win, I cease to care about who played dirty. Don't listen to him, Sarah. I promise you, if I win, I won't expose your transgression, and I won't punish you. Choose Jin, Sarah. Don't listen to a word he says. I'm saying if you pick Jin, I'll let Keji go, Sarah. This is the last choice. Really? 
truly the last. Oh boy, what the shit. Does it doesn't really matter who we pick at this point? I don't think it ever did, did it? the answer. Midori is in five. Jin is in six. <laughs> Once I push it, it'll all end. I'll save Jin. Defeat Midori. And Keji will... It's alright, Sarah. Keji. My hands tremble. But, with the last of my strength, I selected the coffin. Finally, you get what's coming to you. Don't screw with me, Sarah! I'll, I gave you a compromise, and yet... You should have given this up! I think death would be so terrifying. over. We won? Well done! You hit Midori! With this, the challenging team wins. However, it seems you'll still need to pay the price. Oh, but Keji's gonna get... No! Protect Keji! We won't let you do that! Rule violations will be punished. If you resist, we'll take you all out, got it? I still won't move aside. I won't let you kill any more of my allies. Huh. Ain't no need, Sarah. What are you talking about? I'll tell you everything. Hmm? What? Katara was a doll too? Sorry for fooling you this whole time. Whoa. This is what I really am. What do you mean? I don't get what's going on at all. I ain't the real Kataro. I'm a doll, Saflin prepared. I mean, we saw in his flashback that he was that he was really badly injured.
A doll? Keiji, you look bewildered yourself. Honestly, yeah. Because I just did what he expected I'd do. I put Midori's collar in the coffin. Right. After we put the collar in, we split up to act separately. Keji went to floor 5 and we went to the cemetery. Why'd you go back there? The truth is, I was at my limit. My stab wound was deeper than I thought. You can't, Kataro. Get up, we're gonna meet Sarah and the others, right? If you stay here, won't you get burned to death? He was in the coffin that got incinerated. What the fuck? God, these twists, man. Holy shit. I'm sorry. It seems too late for me. Is that what Saflin told you? I don't want this! It's because of me! Don't cry. There's no time. What you need to do is... I can't do it alone without you, Kataro. You won't be alone. I got a doll. Saflin will help you. If you can just get the ID card, use the AI saver with my doll. But then, what about you? Are you planning to die here without anyone even knowing? <laughs> It'll be the ultimate camouflage. That's ridiculous, please! Now get going, Mai. Then inside Coffin 4 was the real Kataro. Yeah. No. Kataro, I. Jin, my. You got out. Muscle Gorilla. So he already. Sorry. Wow. I'm guessing he was burned in the coffin then. Huh. Why? We're gonna get home together. Hmm. Don't cry now. Aww. Jin, you're a big boy, right? Sarah. Sarah, Kana, Reko. You gotta protect him, right? Stick with your allies. But... Muscle Gorilla, he was all alone. We couldn't even talk. I couldn't tell him anything. I... No, he knew. I may be just a copy, but... Even now, I feel like I'd be willing to die for you. What are you saying? You can't! My good fortune. Was my heart being weak? To tell the truth, I wavered lots of times. 
oh right he 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 had to make up for for then when he didn't when he didn't sacrifice himself for Jin I even thought about abandoning everybody. Again, that's that was another alternate ending we could have got back in back earlier where Kataro does just he sells out everybody to save himself. This is this is his redemption arc. Even so, I couldn't. It wasn't kindness or anything, it just yielded. That part of me just wanted to, that wanted to survive, even if it meant killing someone else. So, I'm happy that I could come to your aid. Muscle Gorilla? What's wrong? Muscle Gorilla? Mr. Kataro? Thanks, Jin. Aww. Mr. Kataro? Mr. Kataro? And it's over. All the dolls have run out of battery. Next will be your final game. The winner will be decided. No, it won't. Huh? We'll escape. We won't do as you expect us to. Well, now I look forward to that. Jin Ibushi. What, meow? Keiji Shinogi. Kana Kazuchi. Reko Yabusame. And Sarah Shiduin. The five of you will have a final match. Until then, Give some careful thoughts to the ways you might outwit each other. How awful. It's just me left of all people. My. I. I still want to live. I owe this life to Gitaro and all of you. Will surely bring you back. Thank you. So. Just wait for us. Oh my god, final chapter part one? So this still isn't over. Oh man. This has been so, this has been a hell of a ride. And I've been loving it. To be continued in the final chapter part two. Oh man. Yeah, that, that was where we originally saw the, uh, where we saw him, but also I think I, I think we saw him somewhere else, too. Thank you for playing this far. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, and thank you for making this incredible game with, again, awesome story. 
So yeah, I guess that's gonna do it for now, for for your turn to die until there's until the next update. So yeah. Thank everybody for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. I know I have been. And I'll see you later.